Frank, where are we going, man? Going on an adventure? Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's excited to go. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. Frank had an appointment to get his nails done. He goes to the professional. We do all the other nails for the other dogs, but him, he goes nuts. He's a little wacko when it comes to his nails. He likes them done just perfect the way he likes them. So we take him to a professional. Uh, I'm just grabbing gas right now, and I'm going to go move our RV trailer again. It's on our land. I have to get it off of our land right now and uh, bring it a little bit closer to home. So it might be buried in snow. So i got to go pick up my snowblower. We might need to dig it out. Hopefully this won't take too long. Just grabbed gasoline for the pickup. Put it in 78 liters. Cost me $122. Ouch. Ouch. And that's cheap compared to diesel fuel. And every time I fill up my truck, it's about $1,000 every day or two. Like my big truck, right? I'll go this way. Speaking of the big truck, I gotta go there and pick up some of my uh, winter gear. Cause I don't want to freeze while I'm trying to pull this RV or this travel trailer out of the snow. Gotta go get my winter lined jeans. I uh, gotta get my working jacket, my winter gloves, uh, my face mask. Cause I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get it out of there. I'm hoping that there's not too much snow, but I can just put it in 4WD and push my way in there and push my way out. But just in case, we're gonna go grab the snow blower. Hopefully it starts right away. All right, old blue. <laughs> you dirty one, you. Look at you. Filthy. I still love you, though. I still love you. How you doing? Did you have a good sleep? You didn't even make that much of a mess. Oh, I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Oh, you're awake. Oh, nice to see you. All right, that's eh? Yikes, don't worry, we'll take care of this. No, winter, winter won't last forever, you know? It'll be gone eventually. All right, winter gear, winter gear. Okay. I believe it's in this closet here. Ah, I'll grab my, my big jacket right there. So these are the winter jeans I was talking about. Always gotta have a good pair of jeans on. No sweatpants, okay? I've been that I've been that trucker before that just wears sweatpants everywhere. I understand they're they're comfortable. They're comfortable. I'll just leave it at that. Yes, they're comfortable. But I like wearing jeans. So these are jeans that are lined. They're Wranglers. Got this nice warm lining that keeps me warm in the wintertime. You can tell that they're my work jeans, because well dirty. Stained. They are clean, they're just stained. If we're working, we're manly pants. Man cave, right? Manly pants in the man cave. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, I always carry an extra sweater in the truck. I forgot my working sweater. Put that under there. Put this on over here. Oh, I keep ripping that further. Shoot, there's a hole in my armpit already. Okay, sew that up. Okay. Be careful, Josh. Be careful. So off I go, snowmobile in tow. I'm not actually towing it, I'm hauling it. It's on the back of the truck, but we're gonna go get the, the travel trailer and that'll be in tow. If we can get it out of there, I mean, there's going to be some deep snow in the bush there. So yeah, we want it closer to home. Uh, we don't want it way out in the bush like this. So uh, we're uh, bringing it a little bit closer. We can clean it up a little bit, get it ready for summer. Maybe we'll actually get some use out of it this coming summer. Who knows? We'll see. But either way, got to go get it today. So there is a little bit of snow clear. All the way down the road over there, all the way down the road that way, it's a level snow bank. But right in front of this driveway, someone piled up a bunch of snow. I don't know if they did that on purpose, just to, you know, so people don't drive onto the driveway or something. But now i got to clear all this. It's pretty hard packed. Clear all that, and the camper's further in there.
snow blowing is it doesn't matter which way you blow it somehow the wind is going to switch directions and blow it straight back in your face it's the rule of snow blowing just so you know i think we're good i think i got it you might ask me hey josh how long did it take with one snowblower well how long would you expect it to take it took longer than that. Longer than expected. Thanks. Ah, the goal is to not get stuck now. 4WD. Could have probably pushed my way in here, but I didn't want to get hung up on the snow. Good thing I remembered to load up the snowblower before I hooked up the trailer. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to take the snowblower back. Oh, well, we got it out of here. I had to wiggle her back and forth here a few times that we got her done. You can see my tracks here just a few times back and forth. By a few, I mean a few hundred. And uh, I couldn't turn it around in here, so we're gonna back it out. <sighs> I'm a little disappointed though. My, uh... where is it? Here it is. Nope, where is it? My nice uh, pad. It's frozen to the ground here. I don't have my crowbar with me or anything. I want to take this with me. I need to kind of take it with me. It's just frozen right to the ground. I'm going to try beating on it for a little bit here and see if I can get it. Other than that, we're good to go. Backing it down the driveway. The narrow driveway that I just snow, snow blowed. And I've just got a aim it just right so it gets onto the road this is where coming being a truck driver comes in very handy backed up a few times before i can do this there we go. oh yeah no problem no problem no problem hey tight 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 Need to go a little bit tighter. Very narrow road back there. Let me try again. Let me try again. I'll forgive myself. Eventually. Way out in the bush here. Little nowhere. Take out some of that snowbank. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Didn't need that snowbank there anyway. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Being a truck driver really comes in handy sometimes. Let's go take a look. Tires, got air. Cool. Okay, and uh, that's where we took it from. Right down there. That was a lot, of, that was a lot more, oh, well, it always is. It's always more work than you think it'll be. So, However long you expected this to take me, add a little bit, and then add a little bit more, and then add a lot, and that's how long it took. So we went and got Frankie's nails trimmed today, and on our way back, we pulled into the driveway, and there was a very large box just waiting for us at the gate. And we think we know who it's from. We think it's from my sister. She told us something would be on the way. She got us some uh, some baby gifts, things that she thinks we'll need right away. And she's probably right, because she's done this a couple times. So let's open it. Your dad and stepmom also dropped by yesterday and brought us a few things. Yeah, they sure did. We'll have to show the vlog that yet too. The baby stuff is starting to pour in. It's getting yeah. real. Real, real. Did somebody say a baby? Skin puppy, Chevy. Yes. I am so excited to be Uncle Brother Weezo. <laughs> Cannot wait. It's so exciting. Give me the best Uncle Brother ever. 
Diesel, I don't think you understand. But How okay. creepy that is. <laughs> <laughs> because technically, he's the fur brother, but... He's more like an uncle. He's more like an uncle. Nothing weird about that. All right, so what's in the box? Chevy, can you, uh, can you go lay down, buddy? Uh, Another box. Two more boxes. Another two boxes? Bobby. Oh. <gasps> That's my breastfeeding pillow, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Feels nice and light. And there's the swing. It is the swing. It is. I've got a job to do, apparently. Gonna dad so hard. I'm gonna dad. <laughs> I was just gonna say that, too. Gonna dad so hard. <laughs> this one might include hardware, down. so... Uh... Oh. Hopefully he's got better instructions than the bassinet did. Not likely. The it's the same name brand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it seemed like... Graco is an American brand, isn't it? I think so. But or the instructions really seemed like they were printed in Chinese and just like directly translated to English. Well, guaranteed it was still made in China. Yeah, but you'd think the instructions would at least be in English, but they were obviously not originally in English because the instructions made no sense, even though they were in English. The words didn't make sense. What's this? What is it? What is it? What is my breastfeeding pillow. It'll also come in handy because tomorrow we go for a prenatal visit to determine whether or not I need a C-section. And all signs are pointing to yes, I will need one, but uh, this will be good to keep the pressure on my abdomen. And, you know, like, keep myself from feeling like I'm falling apart. So, and also for feeding the baby. Oh, there you go. That's how that works. Yeah, it wraps around your abdomen and then you put the little one up there. And that way your arm doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. <laughs> That'd be great. Look, and if you have a fat neck, it's, it's a great neck pillow. Okay. That's really pretty. Nice and gender neutral. Just a little bit of leapiness. I mean, the only reason we're doing gender neutral stuff right now is because we're waiting to find out if it's a boy or a girl. Yeah. Once it's, it's born, so we don't know. So everything we're getting right now is gender neutral. It's all like grays and mints and yellows, which I like those colors to begin with. Just to clarify why she's using those words. Yeah, it's just, we don't know if we're having a boy or a girl. So if we have a girl, we add some flowers to it. If we have a boy, we add some, I don't know, puppy dogs to it. Yeah. Well, there will always be puppy dogs. So. Just clarifying, because when people say gender neutral in 2023. Oh, right. It's, it doesn't mean what it actually means. We, uh, we just don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but it'll be one of those two. Yes, definitely human. It's a human. We hope. We hope. It might be an alien. I don't know. I don't it know. is a science, baby. I don't know if you guys saw the pictures of the 20-week scan. I think you did. It's identical to Josh's profile. So it's it's a little Josh. Whether it's a girl or a boy, it's still daddy spit and image. If you're new to the channel, it's an IVF baby. So it's a science baby. Yeah. So I was there when it happened. But, but we, we had help. He didn't have a big part in it. But he paid <laughs> for it. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Zoni. <laughs> Alrighty. I put this one on our registry because slim spaces. We don't have much space. What are you talking about? This is our mansion. This Open is our concept. Castle. But this one was still like third rated on Canada's best uh, swings this year. It's just the classic type. It's not the fancy like swings from the bottom or anything. It just, you know, the regular ones since like the 70s. 60s, 70s, I don't know. I don't know how long they've been around, but. We're just average people. We're simple people. We're, we're not complicated for the most part. Get it, babe. Get See it, get that? it. Dadding so hard. What a man. Diesel, what is it? Look at that diesel. Fancy. Holy smokes. You got me a swing. <laughs> See my bookie? All right, let's do this. Dadding so hard. I think it looks right. So far, so good. We got that going. And we're gonna hang that from there. 
He's... Well, Chevy, are you stuck? He's crying. You come can on wait in. just a bit. We're busy here, but come on. Come on. Come on. He's got to be with Mom and Dad. He's curious. Well, much harder taking care of a skin puppy than a fur puppy. That's stuff to <laughs> deal with. So it's the, a little uh, more detailed. Instructions are a little, yeah, a little better. A little bit, and it's turns out no hardware. Graco, I guess, makes everything snap in place. It's really which, nice. Yeah, we're not complaining about. Okay, so this looks pretty simple now. So we're we'll right. take this styrofoam off of here. Yep. And that off of there. Yep. <laughs> and take this. Does it matter which way is forward and which way is not? I would assume that yes, this is no. the forward way. Because okay. Gray goes the right way. Okay. Like this. Voila! Would you look at that? A baby swing with whales. Because whales are awesome. And stars. Look at swings. Looks fun. Let me try it out. Very funny. No? No. I think that's it. Right. Looks like it. It says here, uh, using the swing. Mm -hmm. Pull head and foot end of seat until it snaps open. Check all four legs are locked in position, number one. So what's this here? I think that's for uh Oh that's for the swing. Yeah, for the How fast you want him to swing? Yeah. Nice and or if you want him to go like wah, 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 wah. put him oh. on like a roller coaster. We'll see what our kid likes. See how crazy Graco is. Wow. Here we go. It swings. So now we've got the bassinet. Flip it over, we got the changing table. We got the baby swing. And on both sides of our family, they've already been uh, attacking our registry quite a bit. <laughs> quite a few things that have uh, come off there already. And uh, we're very thankful to have the families that we do behind us on this. This is a big deal for us and for them too. Like There hasn't been a, a new grandchild in the family in a long time. I think the last grandchild on both sides was born, what, about 13 years ago? Uh, yeah, just over 12 for your side and just about 13 on my side. It's been a while. <laughs> and it's our first, obviously, and it came after a, a big struggle to uh, get here. But here we are, almost there. One step at a time, and uh, we're in the final home stretch now. So thanks for watching today. We got all the projects done. Well, we'll never get all the projects done, but nope. uh, we got a couple of them. We got the camper moved off the land closer to town here. Uh, and uh, the baby swing set up. And tomorrow we have a, well, Britt has a prenatal appointment. I'm gonna go with her too. And we've got a bunch of errands to run and pick up things for the dogs. And tomorrow evening, I'm headed back to the truck and we have a load to pick up in Winnipeg the following morning which is going to take us a little west from here but we're not going too far so I'll see you guys all in my next video Chevy you want to tell them something hit the subscribe button and the all the other ones I forget you tell them Chevy don't show them your butt that's rude wanted him to scratch it. Yeah, he wanted you to scratch his butt. That's what he does when he likes someone. Like he likes it when you scratch right up at the back of his back here. Show his butt. See, and he'll turn his butt to you. It's his favorite spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hit the subscribe button, like Chevy said. Uh, the little bell beside that button will turn on all notifications so that you get notified when I release a new video. And we'll see you in the next one.